Hi right, peeps. This is last night's little pickup. Nice bunch of wires. Um, I'll go through these and just snip them. They've been in the car all night, so I should actually take the pins out because they're in good condition. But I don't want to injure my poor little thumb anymore. Another quiet night. Let's get into that. It's only busy at the end of the month and slight beginning of the month. Once you sort of get into the middle weeks of the month, things really slow down at the moment, especially during the summer. Well, that's because there's more people doing it, so there's less out. I'm, you know, I'm getting there too late, so most is having it or not, I don't know. But anyway, I've got this nice big bunch of wires. Um, I'm going to quickly clean these up and get back to you with what's underneath. It's a goodie bag. All right then, peeps. Got myself a, uh, you can see back there, a couple of feet of uh, stripping wire. Means it's worth stripping, 20 and a half. Also got this battery. I do like picking up a battery. That's about six six quid there. That's my fuel paid for for the night. Everything else is just a, a bonus. Right, goodie bag. Ha ha. What have we got? Oh my god. An old people's phone with the big buttons. Alcatel, that's going to be a fuck all inside in the way of gold, and it's a really crap phone. I've used them before, they're like a cheap Nokia copy. Uh, speaking of Nokia's, look at that Nokia E series. These are good, these are good. He's Eben, these are good. Sorry, I did say I wouldn't sing, didn't I? It's not a bad little phone. Might see what they go for on eBay with the charger. If not, I'll just take it from there though. Another Nokia E series. Both on 3 network. Hmm. Perhaps this was a company shut down. What's this? A San Francisco? Any ever, anybody ever heard of a phone called a San Francisco before? Is it a slider or is it a smartphone? It's a smartphone. Never heard of a phone called a San Francisco before. Hmm, well, we'll charge that up, see what it does. Oh look, there's a Nokia slider. Nokia N series. That's the camera on the back. More camera than phone, that's a, that's a phone camera rather than a camera phone. What else we got? Oh, look at that. The old stylish Nokias. I might keep that for myself as it happens. If it works, they're pretty robust, they're unkillable, these things. Oh, oh dear me. A Philips on Virgin with an aerial. When was the last time you saw a phone with a bleeding aerial? Or a phone that actually quite obviously took three AAAs in a battery pack? That's a bit of an old one. Still, the older they are, the better they are for gold wise. Little Sony Ericsson's. These are quite good for gold actually. They've got nice balls. Usually I find when I strip these down that the whole ball's gold flashed. Um, oh hello. What is this? It's a smartphone of some sort. A Microsoft smartphone. Hmm, that's a weirdo. Hmm, okay. Oh, actually, I think that just attempted to turn on just then. It just, well, it did, look. Actually turning on. Or turning on. You're forgetting you're upside down. Or is it me that's upside down? One of us is upside down anyway. Let's turn on a little Microsoft smartphone. There's a lot of phones in here. Another San Francisco. On orange. I'll show you that when it boots up. But for now, there's another San Francisco. On the orange network. My god, there's loads of phones in here. Some more Ericsson's, them nice ones, the old ones, old style. Old Nokia. Ah, uh, honeypot. Fat gear. Uh, what have we got here? Yes, turned on. Welcome. English, all South African. Now we'll go with uh, English United Kingdom. Sim error. Close that up. Let's start. Terms of use. 
accept, accept, accept. Hmm, it's actually loading up this, and it's actually got a full battery as well. Hmm. I have to have a look on uh, you, um, eBay, YouTube, on YouTube, on the rest. Have a look on eBay. Picks up all the local networks. That's quite good. I'll switch that off for now. I'll give that a test when I'm in. Slide down the power. I'll uh, give that a test when I'm indoors. That's not a bad little phone, that. I think it's turning out to be quite a good goodie bag, as opposed to a not good goodie bag. These things sound perfectly in, in my head. It's just when they come out, they come out as a load of bollocks. What have we got here? This one is shrink wrapped for some possibly terrifying reason. Could contain, I don't know, evidence, bodily fluids. I have to wonder if this has come from a shop. Someone's thrown away an awful lot of phones. What is this? A two... Oh, it's got a two gigapixel camera. It's another Sony Ericsson. Yeah, it's alright. Probably... Oh, they all turn. Well, this one turns on as well. Seems like they're all going to turn on. Perhaps these were all used up until a little while ago. That's it for the phones. But... We've got a couple of them. What have we got? Oh, doing quite well here out of this lot. Got some right old dodgy crap ones. Put them over there. They're old ones, so they're going to have good gold recovery. Got two Nokia's. The Yorkers or whatever they were called. I can't remember now. Dodgy old Phillips. Another Nokia. Sony Ericsson slider. Some other sort of smartphone, and that what I like to call the old people's phone, the Alcatel, because it's crap to use. The only thing it's good for is the fact it's got big buttons. So that's quite handy for old people to use, or for people that haven't got very good eyesight. But other than that, that's rubbish. I know, that I know knew that phone was about six quid because I bought a couple when they were on on sale at Tesco's, and they weren't worth the six quid. You think any phone's worth six quid until you try to use it and realise all the buttons in the stupid places. And when you try to flip from capital or to a capital letter, what it actually does is turn the bloody phone off all the time. I've got a text message. They're show it. Anyway, we've got two San Francisco's, a Philips, two Nokia's, an Ericsson, a Nokia Flip. Two of this style Nokia's and this Sony Ericsson that's just turned itself on. Insert SIM, obviously they're all insert SIM, but they've all got full batteries. And they, well, most of them seem to work. Let's see if these Nokia's work. I can find a power button. Is that a power button? Who can tell? No, it's a earphone socket. That's why I wouldn't turn on pressing it. It's difficult to tell where the on buttons are on some of these things. I don't think these are actually buttons, I think these are just uh, flaps that you undo to access ports and stuff. Yes they are. So, no good me sitting there holding the button. Oh, this one's just turned on as well. Press the uh, call drop. I bet every single one of these phones is good. Whether it's charged is a different matter. Oh, this one's just turned on as well. They're all turning on. Oh dear, it's a, a day of phonage. Better could probably turn the light off and you can see it a lot better whoa that was a bit weird trippy delays going on oh they're all on the three network all these setting up they've all been wiped good you don't want to leave your go on Benny. you don't want to leave your uh, details on there 
Red button, switch it off. Red button, switch it off. Yeah, looks like all of them work. All got fairly decent power left in them. Well, these two, this Sony Ericsson's dead. Or is that not the on button? That's slightly different, that's got the on button on top. That one's dead. Right, what about these San Francisco's? They're both dead. What charge socket have they got? Micro USB. I can plug them in in my car while I'm driving about tonight and have a look at them. That's quite good, isn't it? I do like it when I get a load of phones that work. Anyway, peeps, that was another boring Saturday night out of the way. Not a lot done, not a lot to do. Um, I've got four or five tablets indoors to strip and uh, a load of phones by the looks of it as well. Still, makes it a bit interesting, gives me something to do. Yep, there we go. Loads of phones for me to strip. And one that's probably not worth stripping, but I'll strip it anyway. All I do is I sit indoors at night in front of the computer while I'm editing a, or waiting for a, a video to edit or to update or upload or whatever. And I just sit there and take these apart. I've got a little screwdriver set indoors. Or I just pull them apart and smash the crap out of them. They all end up the same way. Um, apart from that, I've got a couple of mice I've got left to strip. I've only got two. You end up with one of these balls, I call them cobs, chip on bald. It's just a ball with either a single or two chips on. I throw it into a separate box just in case they're not mid grade. Um, when I went to see my bald buyer, I took him a sample of balls I've got. But I never took him up any of those chip on bald type balls so I didn't get him to say yeah they're mid grade yeah they're not they're not they're this they're that so I keep them separate just in case anyway that wasn't a bad goodie bag at all and there's still a load of charges in here so I'm gonna take them indoors I'm gonna fiddle with them and if they're no good I should smash the crap out of them take them apart and put the uh, 10 pence of bald Whatever it comes to, it doesn't come to much more than that. I'm throwing balls, I'm sure. Make some scrap out of it. Anyway, peeps, I'll see you later. There's enough boring videos for me for one day, or one week, or probably for one life. But there you go. Tough. Shouldn't have joined up, should ya? Haha. Tough, peeps.